Uh, good morning, class. Today I want to do a procedure called um, high vaginal swab specimen collection. So I want to collect um, a specimen from the vagina. So what we do is uh, we get a speculum, which is uh, here on the sterile field. And then we need to also get um, some specimen um, uh, swab. So this is um, uh, it's a co collection swab. So that's, this is the one we're going to use here to collect from the vagina with the help of the speculum. So this uh, procedure is done where a patient is um, having vaginal discharge. So wants to see and examine that um, sample. So the discharge will be taken to the lab for analysis so that uh, this woman can be, you know, can be aware of what is causing the discharge. Okay, so to start the procedure, we're going to use uh, two solutions. There is sablon for cleaning. When we say just cleaning for OSP, we just use one swab. You see how I'm going to do it. Then obstetric cream. This cream is just for ensuring that uh, the uh, speculum goes into the vagina smoothly. Okay. So to start, as usual, you have to wash hands. So you need to do that. So on the OSC you have to be very fast so that you, you do the specimen collection quickly. So you come to the patient. Good morning, um, Mrs. Mulenga. I'm student number two. I've come to do high vaginal swab specimen collection, but I've, you can make it easier to say that I've come to collect uh, a specimen from, from you so that uh, we use the root, um, that's a vaginal root. You have to just make it simple for her to understand. Okay? So is there anything I can do for you before I begin? Nothing. What about where you're sleeping? How is it? Okay, it's fine. Okay, let me just prepare and we'll be right back. So, what you prepare is sablon. Sablon has to go in this garlic pot. Okay, then another solution is our obstetric cream. This is the cream just to make the speculum smooth. Okay, so once you do that, you can get the incontinent sheet and put beneath the patient so let's see so once you do that you can um, get the incontinent sheet and put it there okay so once you are doing this uh, if there are secretions you can wear gloves if they are all over but then the secretions are not all over so just put it there then you have to leave the patient in dorsal so the patient to be left in dorsal, then um, you you do the preparations. So you can cover. So at this moment, um, what you have done is just to you have prepared this patient so that you, when you come back, you just have to remove the bed sheet. So at this moment, you can even scrub. So you are done with the preparations. Okay. So scrubbing, as usual, you go one, then two. Then you come this side, you do that, you lock, then you scrub up to there, then you go up to the elbow, then up to the elbow, then you do that. So, drying, you can do that. The first corner as usual, dries from the fingertips, then in between the fingers, up to there, then uh, the second corner goes behind your arm, just to ensure that this part is dry. Then goes all the way up to the elbow. Third corner, this part here, in between the fingers, then it will end up to here. Fourth corner goes behind your arm, there. Then you can do that and throw in the basin, there. So once you do that, you have to now don the gloves. Okay. You can don that. Okay. So just ensure that uh, you put the fingers where, the, where they should be. Okay. So at this moment, since you have done the gloves, you can prepare the swabs. So the swabs you're going to prepare, you, you prepare uh, for sablon. But meanwhile, we don't want to 
uh, ensure that uh, we contaminate everything there. So I can just say that, uh, first of all, uh, drop the patient. Okay, so my assistant just uh, and, and expose the patient for me. Okay, so we can expose. Then um, you get this dressing or drip. When you do that, so the you start with the furthest. That's the furthest. Then the second drip you go on the abdomen. The third drip. Then you go to the nearest uh, limb. So this is the nearest limb, so you do that. So once you do that, then you can um, prepare the speculum. So at this moment, what you're going to do is you're going to ask um, the assistant to get for you the swab, the collection swab. So my assistant uh, get for me the swab. So how you do it? Now this speculum, you go, you dip it in obstetric cream. Okay. in obstetric cream like that then my assistant uh, give me the swab so when you get it like this this speculum can't go in like this so how we do it let me just show you let me expose a bit so since the vagina goes longitudinal or the valve goes longitudinal like this so you're supposed to go with the speculum like this don't push it in like this so you go sideways like that once you reach an intended point then you can rotate it. Once you rotate it, then you can open now the speculum. You can open and turn the wheel like that. Okay. So that's what you do. So let me just repeat the step. When you have the speculum, you, you're supposed to hold it this way. Then rotate it. And then go like that. So once it's there in the vagina, then you can rotate it and open like that. Meaning it will give you um, the, the cervix there to show you where the cervix is. Once you do that, then you have to get now the swab. Okay. So getting the swab from the assistant, let's repack it. We see how you can get. Okay. So let's close it up. So once you want to get my system open for me, so you can get like this, so that you don't contaminate. At least this is sterile. Then you can go with the swab now. You can just go with it inside. So in be just there in the speculum, go and make sure that it's, it reaches the uh, last point of the furnaces or even the cervix there. So when it reaches the cervix, then you can just rotate it to ensure that it catches the a discharge so if the discharge is there now you can bring it out so this part will have the discharge so once it has the discharge you can get it and open this part and then put the specimen there into the transport media so it will be like that so it will be in the transport media like that then close tight so here you're going to write the name of the patient here you write the type of specimen you're going to say hvs which is high vaginal swab and then room number and the date for today. So this is what you're going to do. Then lastly, since you have done that, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the speculum. So removing of the speculum, you're going to ensure that you open this. When you open the wheel, then you close the speculum. You close it. Then you rotate again. When you rotate, then you come out like that. Okay? So once you do that, then you can drop it in the receiver there, down there. Then you can do a uh, valve swabbing. But in OSC, what we do with valve swabbing, you just get one swab and tell the examiner that I will do a uh, valve swabbing only with one swab because the main interest was to collect the specimen in OSC. So since you're doing OSC, you're going to collect the specimen, which is the core business here. Then you tell the examiner I will do valve swabbing. Just use one swab, just like that. Meaning the examiner is aware that you would have conducted valve swabbing so that's it okay then once you do that you can now even um, remove the uh, the drips okay so thank you very much mrs mulenga for allowing me to do this procedure I was doing this procedure so that we get the sample so that we test 
uh, what, to, to find out what exactly is wrong with you or what exactly is causing the vaginal discharge. So you can give IEC accordingly and um, go to the ward in charge. When you go to the ward in charge, you're going to report to say that high vaginal swab has been done and the specimen has been taken to the lab and documentation has been done. So the last part that you do, you're going to wash hands. So you wash hands. That's your last part. Okay. Be because uh, when you don't wash hands with soap, meaning that you're not going to earn a mark. So you wash with uh, soap so that uh, you earn a mark. So this ends um, the procedure, high vaginal swab specimen collection. Thank you very much for watching and keep practicing.